Hey gems, February has come and gone, and also the summer next fest, but I still have next fest games to share with you. Today we're going to take a look at Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions, a gamified focus tool. I've been playing Spirit City since February several times a week. I do have to disclose to you that I was gifted the game, but I assure you I was already in love with it before I received it because of playing the demo. My first impression with the game was how can this actually be a game? I like watching lo-fi music streams while, when I write, but I couldn't understand how it could be gamified. When I got into the game though, it became more clear. There are some really cute character creation pieces, achievements, and dopamine hits from petting your current spirit pal. If I'm being honest, I think this game style is really good for itching the ADHD brain's need for stimulation while also keeping us on task. The feature that stood out to me right away was the timer. I love running, writing sprints, and Pomodoro sessions. The game's built-in timer gives me the ability to change the time to my liking and use breaks to refresh in between working sessions. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is a little different from other games. No need for those WASD keys. Spirit City is basically a point-and-click game. Most of your achievements will actually be gained while your character idles. You have four key features for productivity. The timer, the task list, a habit tracker, and a journal. The main objective is to feel productive in a stress-free environment. There are also achievements to be gathered on Steam if you're an achievement hunting type gamer. Normally I would try to highlight something unique and innovative about a game at this point, but for me, this whole game is unique and innovative. I haven't seen a game quite like this yet. Spirit City currently comes with five lo-fi playlists from Homework Radio, which is actually a step up from when I began playing it when there were four. These playlists are streamer and YouTube friendly. Speaking of, I host my own co-working sessions here on the channel. If you would like to join our Gist Club and see when we're working together again, check out my Discord link below. But maybe you've cultivated your own perfect playlist to keep you in a certain mood. You can use the web music browser feature to listen to that music through the game. The next main feature is the atmosphere. You can curate the atmosphere to your liking by picking your favorite companion to hang out with, decorating your room to suit your vibes, and changing the lights, ambient sounds, and effects to fully immerse yourself. You can customize your character's body type, hair, added features, clothing, and accessories. After music and atmosphere comes the gamification. The more you play, the more experience points you earn. As you earn experience, you will gain levels, in-game money, and more spirit companions. With each new companion comes more ways to customize and spend that money. Each finished timer, level up, and new spirit is accompanied by a pleasing noise to boost your satisfaction levels. When it comes to replayability, I think this can easily become part of anyone's daily routine. You can log in each morning, take care of your habits, use the timer throughout the day, and then journal about your day in the evening. You'll probably run out of companions to unlock over time, but Spirit City Lo-Fi devs have mentioned on Twitter several goals for continued development and support of the game. Recently, they even introduced a new supporter pack of companions that's available as a DLC download on Steam. I personally think that if you're using the game enough to run out of things to buy in the shop or companions to find, you're probably developing a great habit of productivity and might not need those cues as often anyways. At the current price, point of $12 USD, I think the game is a steal. There are many productivity apps out there and most are subscription based models and nowhere near as fun or pleasing to play with as Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. My final thoughts, I'm a huge fan. There are so many pros and I can't come up with a single con. During the demo phase, I had issues with one song being flagged as a copyright claim on my channel. To be clear, it was a claim and not a strike, and when I reached out, the devs were able to get that claim removed before the full game even released. The devs are actively communicating with players on Twitter and talking about the direction the game is heading. Overall, I'm really impressed with this game that I didn't even understand in the beginning. If you're wanting to look for more gameplay, I have a whole playlist here of our Get Your Shit Together week. My community and I spent a week co-working live on stream together and getting things done. And that's how the Just Club was born. If you want to check out the game for yourself, it'll be linked in the pinned comments down below. And with that, you have my thoughts on Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. As I said earlier, I was gifted my full copy of this game by the dev team. It's honestly because of your continued support of my channel that I get these offers for games, so thank you so much for continuing to support me. I hack and appreciate every single one of you gems, and I will see you in the next video.